Born in Liverpool in 1847, Kate Malcolm migrated to Christ Church in her early twenties and in 1871 married merchant Walter Shepherd. In 1885 she joined the new WCTU, which advocated women's suffrage as a means to fight for liquor prohibition. For Kate Shepherd, suffrage quickly became an end in itself. Speaking for a new generation, she argued, we are tired of having a sphere doled out to us, and of being told that anything outside that sphere is unwomanly. Shepard travelled the country, writing to newspapers, holding public meetings and lobbying members of parliament. Opposition was fierce. As Wellington resident Henry Wright wrote, women were recommended to go home, look after their children, cook their husbands' dinners, empty the slops, and generally attend to the domestic affairs for which nature designed them, they should give up meddling in masculine concerns of which they are profoundly ignorant. In 1893 Kate Shepard and her fellow suffragists gathered the signatures of nearly 32,000 women to demonstrate the groundswell of support for their cause. A 270M long petition, then the largest ever presented to Parliament, was unrolled across the chamber of the House with dramatic effect. Despite the opposition of Premier Richard Seddon, the Electoral Act 1893 was passed by both Houses of Parliament and became law on September 19. The news took New Zealand by storm and inspired suffrage movements all over the world. Kate Shepard continued to work at home and abroad for women's rights, from contraception to freedom from the corset. She became president of the National Council of Women of New Zealand and editor of The White Ribbon, the first newspaper in New Zealand to be owned, managed, and published solely by women. In 1909 she was elected honorary vice president of the International Council of Women. Shepard outlived two husbands, her only son, and her only grandchild. She died on July 13, 1934, a year after the first woman MP, Labour's Elizabeth McCombs, entered Parliament.